a big applause for Debs and Loki! changed my name, get over it. <laughs> That's all you're gonna get. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we always kind of wear like matching outfits. Um, but since we are not living together anymore, it's a little bit harder. We've sent um, each other pictures, yes. but that's not enough. And that's why I look like I'm in a cult. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so we're gonna send you through our fashion becoming. Yes. Because we know that you know, that we think, that you think that we're fashion icons. <laughs> and we're gonna start at the beginning, baby fashion. Baby fashion. Of course, we totally remember our very conscious choices of what we're gonna wear as a baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not really. <laughs> um, my mom um, was a little bit of a hippie and she thought that the diapers that you buy at the store are toxic and also very expensive. So we had like the cloth diapers that you can reuse. And one time I was in my mother's ba basement and I found a huge Ikea bag full of cloth diapers. <laughs> and I went to her and I was like, what the fuck mom, why are they still there? And she's like, well, I don't know, maybe you're gonna use them for your children. <laughs> Thanks, the mom. The 30 year old diapers, I don't think so. <laughs> but thanks anyways. Yeah. For me, I was just well dressed. It was 90s fashion, colors, patterns, jumpsuits, everything. So yeah. that's that. And then came kindergarten. Kindergarten. So that's when it started to change a little bit for me. I was so extra. So the patterns went even more aboard and a lot of color blocking that I was doing. And I could say that I was somehow in my kindergarten, I was a bit of an influencer, I would say. Yes, you definitely. know, this was, this was all pre-Instagram. Yeah. So it was limited to the people that I actually met. So yeah. like 10-ish. Yes. If Deb said Nikes, the next day everybody was coming in with Nikes. Uh -huh. We've known each other since then, by the way, for Oops. everybody who doesn't know us. Um, yes, and then for in primary school, um, of course I was always heavily influenced by Debs, um, but I also had my own thing. Sandals <laughs> and socks. <laughs> because I had a wart on my foot and I was so embarrassed that I never took my socks off. I went swimming with socks. <laughs> Even in indoor pools. <laughs> Disgusting. Mm -mm. So I went in, in primary school, I went from color blocking to going monochrome. That's why I'm wearing this fit. It's not the same green, but it is green. Um, I went with olive green and violet. And I did this for the whole four years. <laughs> olive, violet, yes. olive, <laughs> you get it. it. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Glasses. Oh, glasses. Look at those. <laughs> What's that? Those were my glasses that I actually wore. They're from kindergarten. Put them on. Uh-huh. How long did you have those? <laughs> I had them for about 10 years. So maybe I, they were a little too small, yes. but they still fit. Until the face so grew the glasses. <laughs> oh, it did. Yeah, and then we went into puberty. <laughs> oh, it was great. Did. It was great. It hit us hard, I would say. Yeah. Um, I delved a little bit into straightening my hair. I say delve because I did it once. It took me three hours and no one even noticed. <laughs> So that was that. Worked um, out great. <laughs> it went great, yeah. Curly at the roots, straight at the... Uh, it was actually the back here. Yeah. It was straight, <laughs> and the rest was just curly. So it was just that less was volume, amazing. I guess. Yes, 
Um, I, I did something when I was 13. Who here has ever cut their own bangs? <laughs> yes, and who regretted it? <laughs> yes. Same amount of people. So on my 13th birthday, I can never sleep on my birthday because I'm so nervous. I love my birthday. And I woke up at five in the morning and went to the bathroom and I was like, I need to do something with my hair, it looks shit. And I had this girl in my class called Magdalena and she had pin straight blonde hair. Seriously, pin straight. Maybe she straightened it, I don't know. Um, anyways, she had bangs that were going like vertically down her face. Not like the, the Justin Bieber those. wave, but like really pin straight, but going vertically, like the cut was vertical. And I was like, I want that. But I forgot that I have curly hair. <laughs> Oops. So I went to the bathroom. I took the near the closest scissors that I got. It was like the baby scissors with the red handle that you use for cutting paper and not even for paper they work. But I was like, perfect. So I started cutting and it never quite turned out the way I wanted because again, I have curly hair. And I kept cutting and I kept cutting and I kept cutting until there was nothing to cut. <laughs> and then I stopped and it was this short. <laughs> and I remember that day like it was yesterday. Yes. And I went to my room and I was, Debs was staying with me that night. I was like, Debs, <laughs> look what I did. And I woke her up and she was like, what, what, what? My hair. And she was like, what? It was that short, you couldn't even see that they were cut because it looked like my hairline. <laughs> and then three days later, I had to take my passport picture that I had for 10 years. <laughs> Good time. In our late teens, when we were when I was 16, um, it was the first time I ever wore anything high waist, except for when I was a baby, of course. Um, because remember, I was well dressed then. Um, and I never went back. I, it, it, till this day, it's the greatest pleasure that I've ever experienced. Yes. Yeah, that's when I became a hipster, is what other people told me, of course, because you never call yourself a hipster, because that's so cringe. Um, yeah, but that's basically, I dress the same since then. Um, and then came London. London. We went to London after school for a year to be au pairs. Babies looking after babies, <laughs> like in the 80s. <laughs> And yeah, we walked down a uh, brick lane that's like the vintage fashion um, street uh, for hours and then went to all the stores. And I have a confession. Which I haven't heard, so yes. I'm excited. Yes. <laughs> um, Debs, do you remember the blue skirt with like the 60s cut skirt with the flowers and the built-in uh, belt that you bought? Yes. Yes. So... <laughs> We were in the store, <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, that's so nice. And I was actually kidding. <laughs> and then Dabs was like, oh my god, I love it. <laughs> and bought it. And every time anybody asked, um, and Dabs was like, yeah, I wouldn't have bought it if, if Loki didn't tell me to buy it. I was always like, yeah. You know, I'm only wearing black and white all the time. I, I wouldn't dare wearing something colorful like this. <laughs> I always make Debs wear the things that I don't like. Ouch. Sorry. <laughs> Obviously, Debs made it look fucking gorgeous. Oh, I did. Look at her. Yes. Yes, <laughs> definitely. I didn't know anything about this. Yeah. I, it, it hurts a little, <laughs> I have to admit. I'm so sorry. Um, I have yeah. to rethink our Friendship. relationship. <laughs> no. 
and 21 years into the wind. Um, uh, sorry. We'll, we'll see about that. <laughs> So yeah, we both had our fair share of like experiences in the fashion industry. Um, I wanted to become a fashion designer when I was like 15 to 18. Um, and I was like convinced that I'm gonna be so good. And my friend who I've also known for a really long time, who's a model, a very successful model, um, invited me to a party in London for Mio Mio because she was co-hosting and she said that she had like guest list tickets for her friends. And I was like, yes, I'm gonna go. I booked a flight because I was living in Vienna already back then. And I went there just for this party. I sold my own dress. I was like <laughs> low key wanting people to be like, oh my God, who are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> but it was a bit too basic for that. Um, and then I went there, I was trying to find the place because it, it was a little bit hidden and I found those people or they found me and they were like, oh, you're also going to the Mew Mew party. And I was like, yeah, do you know where it is? I can find it. And they were, one of them was like, yeah, we saw it by your effort. <laughs> it took me one second too long to realize that it was not a compliment. So I was like, Thank <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and then I got there. I realized um, that I was not on the list. <laughs> my friend didn't have a plus one. Then I realized that I lost my purse with my Oyster card in it, so I couldn't get anywhere. So I was walking around the area trying to find my purse. I looked into all the uh, litter boxes and everything, and I couldn't find it. And then Right when I walked back, my friend ran out, running after a friend of hers, and was like, because they kicked him out because they were smoking weed, and it's not allowed. And she was running after him, and I was like, wait, I'm sure you can go back in. They don't know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, oh my God, Stella. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I went in with them, and then my friend's friend, who's also a model, um, looked at us and Stella, my friend, always told everybody that we're siblings because we grew up together and blah blah blah. And my like the friend looked at me and was like, "But you're not really siblings, right?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I got so drunk on uh, the free drinks there that I, the only other thing I remember from there is that I saw Harry Styles. Um, <laughs> And that was it for me with the fashion industry. <laughs> Cheap night, I guess. So for me, my working in the fashion industry was that I sold clothes in a clothing store. <laughs> that was different. Um, it was interesting, <laughs> I would say. Um, Customers expect you to Arschkriechen them <laughs> while also screaming at you. And you find gorgeous. so many gorgeous things while working in a store. Um, the most commonly lost things that I found were usually tampons, used and unused, of course. Um, phones every day, literally every day. And also trousers braided to each other. So that was the, the main things that we found. Thank you for that. Please be, please be nice to people that work anywhere, actually. And then came lockdown. Whee! What a ride. Yeah. You probably all wore the same thing in lockdown. Like... Very Wet presumptuous, pants. but yes, tr sorry. probably <laughs> true. It's what everybody did, sweatpants, and then for the Zoom meetings, like a button-up shirt <laughs> to look professional. Um, we did something else. Of course we did. We changed our clothes every two to three hours, <laughs> wore ball gownish attire, I would say in this circumstance. <laughs> High heels. High heels. Anything. Full face makeup. 
We just wanted to feel something. Something. <laughs> yes, and then afterwards, every time we went somewhere where we knew that we were going to see a lot of people, we were like, oh my God, we need to make an effort. We need to look so fucking good. And that's how you all know us. And that's why we know that you know that we think that you think that we're icons. But actually, every other day, we're dressed just like you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.